Welcome back to Peglin. New updates out, trying to get any type of new build. My plan is to alternate new characters and just see what sort of new stuff comes up. Like, I will take anything that's new, and I will wait to destroy this bomb until all the damn slimes are on the screen. Now I may explode. And I know there's still a lot left to do. I mean, it, it might be some of the less obvious stuff, like some of the stuff that has a smaller range of synergy, but I think there is a lot of interesting things left. And let's see if I get any. Well, this one's interesting. This is really unique in that the more pegs I hit, the further this orb travels. The offering, very peculiar. Oh, my map is good looking. That's a lot of <laughs> the good stuff on this path. Wow. So the more pegs I hit, the more enemies it pierces. When I leveled up, I get more self damage per enemy hit. Scary. And higher orb levels require more pegs hit to travel further. That is so weird. And let's start with the chest. All right, get a refresh on every reload. I have, I have turtle, but that doesn't quite help me here. What about this? Oh, I can get rid of a stone. That's wonderful. My first elite fight. I guess I might as well try starting with the offering. See how this runs out. It'll probably hit a lot of pegs. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's going to hurt a bit, right? I'll get nine self damage. No, I only hit two of them. So that's six self damage. Interesting. Now, if I can stay in the middle, I'd be perfect. Oh, that works too. All right. One enemy down. Try to get a sphere here. Oh, I missed the crit and the refresh, but I still got a kill. Oh, and, and yeah, what in reloading, I guess I get a new board. I get a refresh. That's not all bad. Ooh, you hate to see that skip. It is weird having exactly two refreshes and one crit. It's not a combination I see often. I imagine I'll bring it home. Just hope to get another coin. Well, I got a coin. There's a shop coming up. I might just try to go for that. Maybe if I can get four orbs, that'd be great. Do I want Prime Rider Frost? It would help my stones and that's it. Well, that's not true. I guess it would help everything. I'm just used to these piercing most enemies. I mean, this relic is really, really strong. Anything that just grants piercing is wonderful. Can I get four coins? Maybe if I fall into the flames? Good. What's good here? Healing is very important. So is Rallying Heart, but I'll definitely take a cookie. This fight will be weird, but it's definitely a good one to have more piercing on. And this is certainly a good start. Do I want to go offering? I may not need the self damage right now. I could take a stone to it. Tried to snipe a refresh. Didn't really work. I guess I can always snipe this one. All right. Oh, oh, that is weird. I mean, obviously it makes sense, but that is something I never have to think about. The distance it travels up until now i only thought about distance in respect to like enemies like the first enemy is one distance away the second enemy is two distance away it literally takes their location on the top into account okay i can adapt that's just gonna take a little bit of like brain reprogramming basically I, I can get behind that start working on it well surely it'll make it to this guy seems unlikely that it won't well i don't know it I was trying to get it to bounce back to left. It stayed right. No, it got there. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Although, going to be very limiting because I think a lot of times it won't hit enemies. But I mean, I think I can make it work. It's just going to be a tough adaptation. I think I'll just keep going for non-refreshes if I can help it. Brits are great, though. I mean, this guy might as well take the refresh here. I don't know. That's barely worth it, though. Three self-damage doesn't really add up. I'll take the free two healing. Not dealing damage that quickly, so hopefully that can change. Yeah, I don't have many shots left in me. Okay, this fight's definitely kicking my ass. The odds of me getting that crit, they're low. Oh god, how is he still alive? Hopefully this finishes him. All right, scary fight. Fly shields every five pegs hit and gain a bulwark. This could be awesome if I find the relic that gives me bulwark for every shield created and or destroyed. I think they're both rare, so there's a chance. You know what? I'll try this guy. Upgrade something. This gets bulwark more often. Good, not just the stat buff. That being said, I'll take the sphere. Uh, pierce more, and I do admit a stat buff isn't bad, unless this is a 5-8 
but even more self damage. I can't do that right now. Let's make this one better. Unfortunately, I didn't get the good one, but oh wow, refresh synergy. Refresh your course isn't quite good yet, but refreshing punch is. So I'll take that now. I'm not ready to do a relic that will be great later. I just want one that's good now. All right, more coins. That's good now. Direction doesn't matter. I want that shop regardless. Who knows? Maybe we'll hit all five bombs. What about this? Broccoli. More refresh. Damn, there's actually a ton of refresh synergy in this. Well, let's see what happens. Hitting any refresh is lovely. Oh, triple bombs. All right. Got them all. <laughs> nice. I can afford an upgrade. I should go for it. Or I could just heal. Slime boss scares me a bit. I think I'll take the time to heal now because I may not get another fight. And, hmm, how scared am I of slime boss? Honestly, very. My build is not that good. I could see myself really suffering. And now, I guess I'm not going to shop. I'll see what this question mark can do for me. And I don't want three stones. Okay, yeah. I think I'm glad I took 25 HP. That was a whole lot of nothing. Start with a heal. Well, trying to get working on this guy. I'm not expecting much out of it. I have to hope. I must circle. Oh, from the broccoli. That is good. Do I want ball walk? I think I do. I think I'll have to wait on offering for it to get a little closer. Ooh, good heal. When I do refresh or punch, that doesn't count as hitting a peg. Noted. Keep healing. Well, I guess it does in respect to that. My non-crits are very good right now. That's awesome when you only have one crit on the board. Just keep avoiding it. Almost snagged that refresh. All right, this one should be good. I actually might be all right in this fight then. I was nervous, but I mean, this is still the hard phase. I, it could get worse. Get to the refresh eventually. Five or six damage. I'll take six. Hold on. It's just the, ah, uh, the pegs keep randomizing. How about this? Nah, that one wasn't too good either. At least I get to heal the full. So everything will be all right. Okay. Close one. Refresh synergy. I mean, that's kind of what this build is building towards. I'll take it. It's a really good one. Probably upgraded too. Ah, uh, but right. Tier two does nothing for it. Tier three changes things a bit, but it's basically worthless. It's that upgrade my sphere. I don't like these selections. Maybe I'll try Haglin Satchel for the hell of it. Maybe I get something good. Reorganizer's cool. Ball Lightning's cool. Well, my upgrades are nice. It's the wall. I haven't seen that in a while. Well, Refresh Orb doesn't actually matter to me until I'm missing some HP. So I'll try to hopefully wipe out that enemy. Not quite. This guy's at 35 HP. I'll just try to get him. Too bad breaking the shields doesn't do anything, but adding the shields is nice. 54 coins. Could go shop, but I'd miss out on elite. I definitely want chest and elite to the left. Adds must circle one. Every three times the board is refreshed while the orb is in flight. Maybe this is a kind of build where this could be good. I'll try it. My build's getting pretty thin. Oh, now it's every two times. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, so this is like a refresh must circle build. I like that. Does this help? Uh, it does, actually. I have a lot of stones still, and some of them I'm perfectly content with shooting. I guess I could take a little ball walk. That's a ton of ball walk. Hell yeah. Go reorganizer just because it's, uh. That's fine. I guess the job done. I should really like how ball lightning plays on this. Yeah, it's just guaranteed to hit a ton of pegs. And I, this brings it home no matter what, so just farm coins. Perfect. Ooh, Grant's must circle and fired and must circle to enemies. I don't know though. It feels like my deck is starting to get very wide. I don't want to add too many more orbs. I just want to kind of focus on gaining must circle. I'll just upgrade something. Adds must circle every time the board is refreshed while the orb is in flight. That's awesome. Holy cow. I will make great use out of that one. All right, so always gun for the refreshes with all the stats I gain. I mean, damn. All right, the sphere is where it's at. So, okay, run out. Eh, it's not terrible. 
I think ball lightning's pretty bad, actually, just because it doesn't have the pierce. Thankfully here, critting doesn't matter. Well, now it does a little, I think, with that must circle added. So I will skip and maybe give myself a bit of ball arc. Oops. I didn't even notice that crit in there. Damn. If I go refresh orb, get a lot of mileage out of you. Ton of mileage. Hell yeah. Offering isn't necessary. Said I'll just keep adding must circle and avoid that crit, hopefully. Fantastic. This build is awesome. Protect Orb deals no damage. I feel like I don't need it, but I think I can still upgrade now. Yeah, I'm about to go into Elite's Gauntlet. Refresh Orb for one more guaranteed refresh. That could be nice. So brings the wizard. You know, I can already start with refreshing. If I have my first peg hit be a refresh, do I get two refreshes? Let's find out. No, I only get one. Oh wait, actually, no, that just, it was back to back refreshes. Because it says the first, like, normal peg hit. So what happened is that I hit the refresh, the board refreshed, and then I hit a normal peg, and then the refresh orb special ability triggered, because that was the first normal peg hit. Cool. Anyway, I'm starting to build up pretty good damage. You know, when a stone is good, you know you have a great build. So eight, or bolt lightning is really great against single enemies. Probably should try to upgrade him a little more. Unless if I crit, then it's pretty bad. It's very bad. I didn't, couldn't hit a single refresh either. Okay, but this should hit a couple. I don't think I need that offering. Yeah, the build is pivoted. You're dead, right? Good. I may just save money for the shop. I could just try to buy it all out. Because I'm actually pretty happy with my current levels. Unless if I do want a better all lightning. I think it'll just be best if I can get rid of the crit somehow. Oh, hey, Synergy. Whenever a shield is created, gain five ball arc. You know what? I will take that Synergy. I got two kind of Synergies with this build. Also, Ball Peen Hammer is a fantastic name. Yeah, so this should be awesome for armor gain. Bring on the Peen. Yeah, I just got 47 things of Ball arc. I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. But, you know, I might as well wipe out the enemies anyway. Pretty easy fight. I mean, Elector Magnet is great. I again don't think I need it though. Okay, just don't mess this up. Take the Elite. I don't need to get greedy. I don't like Reorganizer. Yeah, I don't really like that I have it. Both the orbs I got from the Satchel, I kind of disliked. But I mean, the upgrades are a little handy. Uh, this could be okay. Never mind. Why do I keep shooting this one? I already know I don't like it. I'm not going to suddenly start liking it. I will like it, though, if I can get all these shields made. <laughs> I keep critting. Damn it. It's okay. The scaling is here. Took long enough. Just don't crit. All right, that should be magical. 420. Love it. I can tank one of his hits at least. Okay, didn't do it. I'm probably going to be tanking multiple of his hits. Right, here we go. Huge must circle gains. Oh, it almost happened. But it didn't. That was close. Okay, now ball lightning can be spectacular as long as I don't crit. Good. There's always a time for it to shine. I'm going to splurge on this shop. Do I have any heroes backpack synergy? I have a couple stones, but no. I guess balance is fine. If I occasionally reload, it wouldn't be trash. Anything good here? Oh, yes. Ambidectionary is wonderful. I will make wonderful use out of that. So, what do I have? Oh, more renewed Vigorb. Yeah, I definitely love this. I may remove an orb. I'll leave Reorganizer. But if I can ever get the Duplicator, I guess that'd be good. I'll get rid of the orb with the weakest non-crit damage that doesn't hit multiple. Because, I mean, Bolt Lightning, after a bunch of Must Circle is added... Will be great, because it can hit multiple pegs. I like more bombs. Bombs can keep the action going. I'll let them deal more damage, too. All good stuff. Are there any good relics left? Well, there's Grabby Hand. Just pass that up. It's not bad, since everything has Pierce. But it's meaningless against the wall. I guess I might as well start with the Sphere. 
since this will actually hit the wall. Missed the refresh, though, unless... Nope. Yeah, I had to whiff it, huh? Okay, well, this should surely hit refreshes. Good. Do it again. Guess not. If I can find the thing that has bombs destroy um, nearby pegs, that'd be great. I think ball lightning's already halfway decent for the sheer value of just making sure I get to refreshes. Even just one. That's fine. I'll just take the 7-7. Seven, seven. Good. The damage looks bad now, but the scaling is real. Because now I can just go refresh orb and send it to the moon. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the ticket. 800. It's a 14 damager and climbing. The wall is just too slow. Beautiful scaling here. Give me that 21er. Well, now it doesn't matter what I do. As long as it isn't hitting the crit, which it could. Yes. Good dodge. Great dodge. Did someone say more scaling? I think I heard more scaling. There's no such thing as too much scaling. Okay, now I can upgrade my stuff. The Vig Orb's great. I'll get the other ones in due time. Molten Manto's easy win. Well, the other ones aren't even that great. Molten Mantle is very helpful, though, to, like, not matter if I hit a late crit. Because I can build up my damage like crazy and it'll hopefully kill the enemy before I snag that crit. So, you take the good relic. Plus, I might need it against the dragon. I got the dragon. Yeah, I guess this is actually kind of crucial against the dragon. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, no, I crit. No. Terrible. I like ball lightning here. Yeah, love it. I don't need to refresh the board more. Now, I have to be selective with my money, but I might just be upgrading things. Oh, there's so many elites to the right. And I can get this elite to the left. Yeah, so I could go chest elite and then all the way to the right, which wouldn't hit any shops. So that means I could just upgrade my stuff. Unless I want to buy a new orb. That's not high priority. I mean, this has to happen for sure. And then maybe I could do ball lightning for the next two. Well, I can start with uh, crit damage. I need to figure out how to get more coins if possible. It's probably possible. I just don't know how. Pretty good. I guess I've pivoted away from offering, huh? That's fine. I think I'll let you go for the bulwark. Yeah, I could always use 43 block. And I imagine ball lightning should bring it home. Well, I have a very active imagination, it would seem. Nice. Too late for Balestra. Still not necessary. Yeah, I think this will also be pretty good against the dragon boss. It's kind of neat with the dragon, just like how you have to have like a very different type of game plan. It isn't just the same game plan of hit as many pegs as possible. You have to, oh, try to do other things. I like both of these orbs, but the stone is just mediocre. All lightning can do great things. Yeah, it, the dragon kind of makes it so you have to rely on other aspects of the game, whether it's poison or other types of damage. Refresh moves after every shot. Okay. I'm whelmed. It is, however, deeply unsatisfying. Forest boss, though, I do like that. And, uh, nice refresh. Please don't crit. Good. Ugh, didn't first turn him. Yeah, hate to see it. All right, got him now. <laughs> and for my last upgrade, I could wait. The only thing I could spend 34 coins on is a tier one orb. Well, if I get a refresh orb, I guess I'd buy it. So maybe I'll hold out for that. The upgrades aren't that important. Refresh or refresher course. These are both incredible. Actually, compare refresher course to broccoli. That's kind of cracked. Broccoli is insane. I get every time it's refresh in a month circle. And this is every four times. And then it's a random stat. Generally, you want either month circle or spinesse. So getting one or the other, I think, is worse than honing in on one. That is nutty, the difference. No, because of the incredible power of broccoli, you take the peg bag. 
because that accelerates broccoli. I never actually realized how apt a comparison that is. It's an interesting start. All lightning usually means I'll sniper refresh, and I did. Good. Okay, this can scale nicely, assuming it goes where it says it's gonna go. It does lie a lot about its trajectory, which is a little disappointing. I kind of wish the, um, the gravity wells made it a bit more honest. Damn, I'm getting slapped. I'll take this just in case it doesn't kill. At the very least, I could build up defense. It did kill. Nothing that I want. Anything good here? Oh, whenever our shields are destroyed, gain five bulwark. Is the, it's the combo. Create the shields and destroy them. Make crazy bulwark. Yeah, that seems great. Cool. I've got a couple cool combos. All right. Definitely just gonna remove one orb. This regular stone. Well, I mean, I never throw offering. I never do it. I don't like the self damage. I guess I'll just get rid of it and try it another day. I think my vibe from it though is, well, it's very specifically for a masochism build. Like I fire the stone much more. I should be honest with myself about that. And ooh, they don't get my, their extra turns for my first reload. All right, well, time to get an absolute fuckload of armor. Yeah, <laughs> I should be set for the rest of the fight. All right. Nope, not critable. I'm good. Always love starting off a fight with a trillion block. Yeah, 68. And I can follow it up with some sweet, sweet scaling. I don't think I ever actually hit the refresh. Oh, I hit the refresh. Nice. Nice. I'll do what I must. Just don't hit that crit. Great. Oh, four vacations a good one to take too. Every five pegs hit. Yeah, that's fine. This is definitely one of my better orbs. I'm happy to have a second one. Yeah, overwhammer doesn't matter against the dragon boss. I'll take the sash. And it's just okay. Anything good here? Duplicate a random orb or all orbs? I get a little reload synergy, so I'll just take one, see what I get. I got probably my worst orb. I don't think that will matter, though. Oh, this one's tough. Okay, what kind of scaling can I get? Not much. Don't hit the crit, it probably wins. Great. Well, I'm constantly broke. Oboe is really good, I think, against the boss. He attacks multiple times for three, so this would make him attack multiple times or two. Or maybe he attacks multiple times or four. He, he attacks very fast in quick succession. Oboe's great against him. Oh, Echo, sure. Everything's coming together in this boss build. As much as I want a bunch of block right now, I think it makes sense to just have my very first shot be scaling. Just because of the existence of Mental Mantle. That's the logic behind it. This should go to the moon, actually, I think. It hits so many pegs. Yeah, all right. Half of his health is just gone. Now I can do a little Forbifying. Yeah, and now I'm safe. I think I'll start looking for more scaling orbs, though. I think it could always be better. No! Oh! Well, it is what it is. It wasn't the most impactful shot anyway. This, however, should be impactful. Nice. Do I need more block? Sure, why not? All right. This boss is pretty easy to farm block against. I think I should really like the ball lightning in this boss fight. I might actually love it. It should be able to make it in the center pretty easily. It didn't. That was an unfortunate run out. This should most likely get there. All right, it's very close, very close. I have 173 bulwark. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue. Nice. It is a very different way to plan. I think I'm willing to trade off the satisfaction of the fight of, for the satisfaction of making a different kind of build. But there is no denying that is the least satisfying boss out there. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. More Peglin coming soon. Have a wonderful day and peace.